Hey again, it's Suzanne A. Wells with another What to Sell on eBay video. I hope you're enjoying these quick five minute videos. I'm trying to make them short so that you can learn a quick tip every day and hopefully remember it. Um, sometimes these YouTube videos can be so long it's hard to remember everything that goes on. So you can watch the entire playlist if you want for lots of quick tips in a row. So today we're going to talk about Kohl's Cares Plush. And you may have noticed when you go into a Kohl's store, sometimes there's a promotion in the front where there's a bunch of stuffed animals. And that is part of uh, Kohl's Cares program. They actually um, do this as a fundraiser for a charity. And if you go to their site, it'll tell you that 100% of the net profit from the sale of these items will be donated to kids' health and education initiatives nationwide. More than $274 million has been raised since 2000. And these uh, plush stuffed animals are $5 each. And what's interesting is that they're limited edition. And they're usually uh, based on a book, uh, a current book at the time. So they don't carry a stock of these all the time. It's just a limited time thing for a couple of months. And... Um, so it's, it's hard to find a replacement anywhere other than online or like on eBay at a garage sale because they're only made for a short time. So if you go to Kohl's Cares at any given time, you'll see that there's only, like this is only 16 products here under Kohl's Cares Plush. And like there's this crocodile that goes with this book called Cornelius. There's the frog that goes with a book called It's Mine, and on and on. So I've been selling these plush on eBay, gosh, probably since 2008 or 2009. And um, just based on memory, there's one called Give a Mouse a Cookie. I sold that one a lot. I sold the Rex from Toy Story. Um, there was a fish that was out recently, I can't remember the name of it, but it also went with um, with a book. So I don't even know what the books are. I just know that um, to look for these in thrift stores because if it's a limited edition, if it, it was one that's really popular and it's hard to find, it could go for a lot of money. So let's take a look at what's on eBay. Um, and one reason I don't know this anymore is because my kids are college age and I just, I don't know what characters kids are into. I know the classic ones from when I was a kid and then when my kids were little um, in the 90s and 2000s. So that's why I'm really not in the know on this a lot, but it does constantly change and they do have some classic ones. So um, first thing is if you go to eBay and you do a search for it, obviously what's going to come up at the, um, at the top of the search when it's sorted by highest is um, the lots. So you can go over here to this advanced tab and you can exclude the word lot from your search and then you'll get down to just the singles or the characters that go together. So these are all new with tag. Um, I'm leaving those in there this time because maybe about 50% of the time you're gonna find them with the tag on it. They're going to be brand new looking and especially at garage sales if they have a whole big uh, bin or bucket of stuffed animals, they'll be cheap. Um, sometimes what happens if the, there's multiple children in the family, everybody gets one. Since they're only five dollars that's pretty cheap. So when uh, the family's downsizing or you know decluttering they will put a lot of their stuffed animals out there. Um, I was surprised to see that this Charlie Brown set um, goes for so much money. $74.99 it's sold for, and it's got all three, um, Charlie, Snoopy, and Woodstock. There is also a Linus and a Lucy, but this one was um, just the three of those guys. So if we go back here, we'll see the other set here with, uh, it's missing Woodstock, but it's sold for 65 And um, 
this actually really hurt because <laughs> I got the Charlie Brown um, at a thrift store years ago. And when I got home, my precious little dog, Bailey, uh, claimed him. And she, that is her best friend now. He goes everywhere with her. When we travel, he comes along. <laughs> so and he's in pretty rough shape. I can't sell him anyway. But um, so, yeah, she, um, she claimed Charlie Brown. So he, uh, he did not get sold. But anyway, um, I'll know to look for another one next time. So if we go down the list here, some other popular characters that sell for a lot are going to be um, Curious George. He's, I've sold that one several times. And let's see, I actually made a list here so I wouldn't drag on the video. Um, the Dr. Seuss characters, those will sell for a good price. Now, obviously, selling a plush for $20 to $30 is not going to make you a millionaire. But if you're not looking for them now and you can go down the, the plush aisle at your thrift stores and have a few in mind to look for. Um, I always look for Hidden Mickey, Cole's Cares, um, Stife, a few others that I'll do videos on so you'll know what those are. But if you can just get a few in mind that you can look for, it makes this a lot uh, faster and easier. I've also so sold this kangaroo here a couple times. Um, you'll start finding the same ones over and over again. So that's the key here is to learn something that you can replicate. You don't have to reinvent the wheel every time you do something. Um, there's the mouse, if you give a mouse a cookie one I was talking about. I found that one a few times. So, um, and there's a pig. If you give a pig a pancake, there's a pig with um, something on it. I've sold that one a few times. So it's just learning which ones to look for over and over again so you can repeat this process. So I hope that helps you a little bit um, to learn a new item to look for. Um, I like selling plush because they are lightweight, easy to ship. You can just stick them in a poly mailer. A lot of them uh, weigh less than a pound, so they can go first class. Um, they don't expire. They're pretty easy to store. You can get quite a few of them in a plastic tub. So um, the fact that they're lightweight, they don't break, you don't have to do any kind of uh, wrapping them when you ship them it's it's quick and um, a lot of times a parent will be replacing a lost one or a damaged one so they will pay um, a good amount of money you know way more than five dollars because if this isn't being made anymore and they can't buy it for five dollars and their kid is having a fit can't sleep at night has to have their special friend um, you know they're gonna pay 20 to 30 bucks to get a new one and even more for some other plush that we'll talk about in other videos. So um, keep that in mind that Kohl's Cares Plush is a good item to flip. Look out for those at uh, thrift stores, garage sales, anywhere you go. Um, I'm actually going to be doing a course on plush coming up soon to give you more information on which ones to buy, how to ship them, how to clean them, all that information. So. Thanks a lot for watching, and we'll see you next time. Have a great day. Bye.